This is question six from the spring 2005 AMATIC student math league contest. Question says, knights always tell the truth and knaves always lie. A knight sits in a circle with eight other people, each either a knight or a knave. Each of the nine people says, I'm sitting next to exactly one knave. So we want to find the maximum possible number of knaves. Okay, so I'm gonna break this down into two situations. First of all, for a knight here, Oops, knight. I'm just going to use a T, and for a knave, I'm going to use a V here, just so I have shorthand. I'd like to use K, but they both start with K. I'm using T for knight, V for knave. Now let's think about our situations here. So if we have a knight here, knights always tell the truth, and so when this knight says, I'm sitting next to exactly one knave, that means that there's a knave on one side and a knight on the other. So any knight We'll have a knave on one side, not on the other, or I guess you could have the knight on the left, knave on the right. When we have a knight, we sort of get this. I'm going to start thinking about a circle, so I'm kind of drawing these like it's a circle. If I have a knave here, it says I'm sitting next to exactly one knave, but the knaves always lie. So we know that it can't be one knight and one knave here. So what we're going to get is either both of the people next to the knave are knights, or both of the people next to the neighbor names. So these are sort of our four building blocks here of what can happen based on you know, how much knights and knaves tell the truth. And so now we're just going to start to build our circle. Now we know that we have a knight. So let's start with this knight here. So maybe do this in green, a different color. So we'll start with our knight. Now, either one of these two scenarios can occur. So you sort of have this scenario, this scenario, this scenario, or this scenario. So either one of these two on the left can occur. Now, if you think about the circle, there's sort of a symmetry argument that it doesn't really matter if we go from start with the left, start with the right. So let's just assume we've got knave on the left, knight on the right here. It won't really matter. You can flip that around and everything would just sort of reverse or be symmetric. Now I'm gonna go focus on this knight. Now this knight has a knight on its left, on his left, and so there'll be a knave on the right. So when I focus on this knight, I get a knight already, then I have a knave. Now this knave has a knight, so it has to have a knight there. You could play the same game with this knave over here as well. So we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six people. We get three more. This knight has a knave on the left, so there has to be a knight on the right. This other knight has a knave on the right, so there's a knight on the left. Uh, let's see, this knight has a knight on the right, so there's a knave on the left. Now let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm up to nine. I need to check this knight and this knave if this is consistent. So this knight has one knave, one knight. This knave has, well, two knights. And really, this is our scenario. That's our answer. And now we want to find the maximum possible of knaves. So there's one, two, three. So our answer is C, option three.